Hello, I'm Charles Bustani, a doctor and member of the House Republican Healthcare Solutions Group. We all know that in this troubled economy, American families are increasingly worried about their health care. In my home of Louisiana, I hear constantly from families and small businesses about rising costs and fears of losing coverage. And as a physician, I saw this firsthand. Let me be clear. Republicans want to work with President Obama and other Democrats to ensure that every American has access to affordable, high-quality health coverage. Despite our differences on some important health care related issues, we are convinced that there are areas offering potential for common ground on health care reform among the two parties. We believe we must make quality health care coverage affordable and accessible for every American, regardless of pre-existing health conditions. President Obama has called for a plan that puts us on a clear path to cover all Americans and said, no American should be denied coverage because of pre-existing conditions. Republicans agree. We believe health care reform must let Americans who like their health care coverage keep it and give all Americans the freedom to choose the health care plan that best meets their family's needs. The President has said Americans should have the option of keeping their employer-based health plan and said reform should provide Americans a choice of health plans and physicians. Republicans agree. We believe health care reform must improve Americans' lives through effective prevention, wellness, and disease management programs, while developing new treatments and cures for life-threatening diseases and respecting the value of human life. The President has said health care reform must address cost drivers in our system, such as obesity, sedentary lifestyles, and smoking. Republicans agree. We believe it's possible and necessary to achieve these objectives through common sense reforms without raising taxes, rationing care, eliminating employer-sponsored health benefits for working families, empowering government bureaucrats at the expense of patients and doctors, or adding even more to our ever-growing national debt. At the same time, Republicans are concerned about news reports indicating that some Democrats favor a policy called a government or public option. We need to be clear about what this means. From my former practice, I know allowing the government to replace the health coverage that more than 100 million Americans currently have through their jobs could have devastating consequences. A government takeover of health care will put bureaucrats in charge of health care decisions that should be made by families and doctors. It will limit treatment options and lead to rationed care. And to pay for government health care, your taxes will be raised. That is something we cannot support, and frankly, it would clearly 